Yeah, hi there, and these comments are for YH, and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. You're also one of my students in the English language program at California State University, and you completed uh, my independent speaking practice test number 50. And the question here is, Suppose you want to get away for the weekend to relax during the summertime. Would you rather stay at a hotel at the beach or in the mountains? Give reasons to support your response. All right, so you say. I prefer to stay at the beach instead of in the mountains. First of all, I can hear the ocean at night. Sounds relaxing, nice, and may help me sleep as well. Second of all, I like to collect the shells on the sand, and I like to dive under the ocean to see different types of sea animals. Third of all, I enjoy watching sunsets and walking hand to hand with my friends in the sand. Thank you for listening. Okay, so you had three ideas, you spoke for 28 seconds. You should probably, maybe part of my recommendation here would be, maybe focus on two points and then take more time to develop those particular ideas because you didn't have a lot of detail in there. So you have to use like, for example, when you talk about seeing the sea creatures and swimming in the ocean, you can say, for example, two months ago I went to Huntington Beach I went swimming in the water there, I saw jellyfish, I saw some really pretty bluefish, and I even saw some crabs along the shore. So you want to make sure that you give some examples to support the reasons that you give, and that helps to develop your ideas a little more than you did. Okay, so let's take a look at the rubrics here. Still, you had a good, strong organization of ideas. You definitely... Uh, understand how to structure your speech. Uh, I'm going to put you in the two range on this one. So uh, I think delivery, you want to work on varying your tone more than you, than you are. So you can go to my pronunciation lessons and review lessons 35 through 40 to learn more about intonation. Uh, language use was, was pretty good. I mean, I didn't notice any major problems with your grammar or your vocabulary. In terms of topic development, the main thing is, is to focus, limit your focus, and take more time to develop uh, your points. If you want to see a good, a good sample response of how you can develop your ideas, you can take a look at either speaking lesson number one or speaking lesson number two in my online TOEFL course, and you will see how to more fully develop your ideas. And make sure that you use all the required time. For example, you spoke for 28 seconds, but try to use all 45 seconds of your time to explain your response. All right, so your score here, I'm going to put you at about 2.50 out of, out of uh, 4.0. And that's going to give you 19 points out of 30 on the TOEFL IBT exam. Now, for the purposes of our class, if this were the final exam, uh, here's a grade that you would have gotten here. Uh, 2.5, that would have put you at 85% on this particular practice test.